Hello guys, welcome to Gautam Digital Learning. My name is Srinivas. I am the faculty and solution architect for ServiceNow. In today's session, we are going to learn ServiceNow tables. Before we start work with ServiceNow tables, first of all, you would like to know what is the table in ServiceNow. ServiceNow table is a collection of records. So each row can represent a record in the table and each field can represent a field in the table. Each column can represent field in the table. In ServiceNow, basically, there are many predefined tables. Those are like predefined tables. Like almost 4000 plus tables are available. And if you want to create a custom table also, you can create custom table as well in ServiceNow. Let's move to the documentation. What is table, guys? Table is a collection of records which are stored in a database. Each record represent a row in a table. Each field on a record represent a column in the table. So tables are mainly utilized by applications to manage the data and process. Every application will maintain a dedicated table to store the data. For example, incident table is going to maintain incident application. Similarly, problem application, change application, service catalog application, and knowledge applications, other applications also there, right? Each application is going to maintain a dedicated table to store the data. But here we need to know who will create new table in ServiceNow. ServiceNow administrator is responsible to create new table in ServiceNow. Okay, let's move to documentation. So come to database and table overview. In ServiceNow platform base instance, we have almost over 4,000 plus tables. Each table has multiple fields and attributes. Attributes are nothing but field properties. One table can extend to other table also. So if you want to, can extend to other table also. Here, we need to understand who will create new table and modify existing table. Only ServiceNow administrator can create new table and modify existing tables. Next one, this is the architecture of the tables. Suppose you can take incident table, that table has these all three fields, color, number, priority. User table having these three fields and the table has many fields, but in this slide, I had mentioned only three fields, phone number, first name and last name. This is complete data model of service now. So a table may contain one or many fields, a database may contain one or many tables. So the data always going to store in table format as we know that. Next one, each row can represent a record in the table. Each column can represent a field in the table. This is called table. The data is going to store in table format like a rows and column structure. Next one, parent table and child table. There are main two main parent tables in service now. Those are like uh, task table, second one is cmdb underscore ca table. Task table has extends with many tables like incident, problem, change, some other tables also. Similarly, cmdb underscore ca is one more parent table. That table has extends with many tables. But in this slide, I had mentioned only few important tables which are using very frequently in service now. Next one come to types of tables. In service now, there are two types of tables. Base table, second one is the custom table. Base tables are called predefined tables, which are already created by service now. Then what about custom table? Those tables are not available by default in your instance. As per your client requirement, you can create a custom table. Now I can show you practically how can we create custom table in service now. And next one, move to the documentation. In ServiceNow base instance, we have many tables, but it's very difficult to remember all table names. At least you should remember 10 to 15 important tables which are using very frequently. So those tables I had mentioned in my documentation. Next one, come to first exercise, how to create a custom table. Let me show you practically, navigate to my instance, and go to tables under system definition 
click on tables this is all about predefined tables which are already created by service now how many tables are there 4632 predefined tables are there by default in my base instance if you wanted to create new table yes we can create new table also just clicking by new button and provide your details so my details are service now training just you can provide the name of the table system will take internal name automatically when we create a custom table in service now the internal name will generate automatically that will starts with u underscore this u underscore can determine it's a custom table but when you open any predefined table in service now so it won't starts with u underscore i can show you practically once again and next one meanwhile going to create a module and a mobile module then application menu also then click on submit so what it is saying service now training has already created now let me change the name as now training submit the table has been successfully created and here we have to remember one important thing is when we create a custom table in service now by default system will generate six predefined fields those fields are called global default fields such as like created created by updated updated by updates and a sys mode count sys id these all seven fields will create automatically by default after creation of a custom table and next one go to the control so if you want to configure auto number for your scope application or custom application yes we can configure auto number also auto number means for example when we open incident application the number is generating automatically by default right like it will starts with the inc and some number right same auto number let me configure for my scope application as now training so go to auto number enable this checkbox and snw this is the prefix of my scope application and the first number will starts with 20000 something depends on our business requirement we have to configure this number and the number of digits total i have taken six digits and the first number will starts with 20000 and prefix is snw then click on update yes so i have configured auto number successfully to my scope application so let me try to access same application from filter navigator so go to s now trainings now you can see empty form right when we click on new button you can see only auto number field so what about remaining fields guys no i didn't configure it any field in my scope application or custom application like as now training if you want to configure more fields in your form you can configure as per your business requirement already you know right so how do we configure form in service now just to go to the form header right click on form header and navigate to configure and click on form design or form layout to design the form in service now so this is about table creation right next one how can we delete a table yes so service now administrator can delete the table also how they can delete let me show you go to same vice versa tables and system definition click on tables which table do you want to delete as now training if you want to get the latest record on top just you can start out it may be ascending order or descending order so open as now training table record then you can delete so while deleting any table first you can delete all records from this table and type it delete delete and click on ok only one record found from this table right yes that record also i want to delete click on ok 
records are deleted successfully then only you can delete the table type delete and click on ok I have successfully deleted a table from service now instance in case if you deleted any table unfortunately from your account can we recover it no it's not possible when we delete a table from service now the entire internal structure will delete permanently it will be deleting permanently you can't recover it so then when you want to create a same table again you need to follow same steps in service now this is about table creation and deletion and next one is data dictionary tables this is very very important in table concept what about data dictionary tables data dictionary tables will maintain metadata and it will maintain complete data model i can show you how the data is going to manage in surveys now right there are three main data dictionary tables in surveys now first one is sys underscore db underscore object second one sys underscore dictionary third one sys underscore documentation there are three data dictionary tables in surveys now first one is sys underscore db underscore object this table will maintain all the details about the tables fields and labels second one is sys underscore dictionary uh, this table will maintain all the details about fields and uh, labels last but not least sys underscore documentation sys underscore documentation this table will maintain all the details about the fields it's very very important in entry also there are three data dictionary tables in service now so first one is sys underscore db underscore object this table will maintain all the details about the tables and fields then labels and the second table is sys underscore dictionary this table will maintain all the details about fields and labels and the last one sys underscore documentation this table will maintain all the details about labels so this is the complete data model of service now suppose if you want to change the label so directly you can navigate to the table and uh, op select the specific field which field label do you want to change directly you can change it or else if you want to change the label from dictionary entry also you can change the label and if you want to change the uh, like a label from table record also you can change it so this is about data model of your dictionary tables these three are data dictionary tables data dictionary tables will maintain metadata and complete information about the tables fields and the labels okay thanks for your time have a great day